Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Design Master Color Tool. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, we're creating a colorful Christmas apothecary filled with pine cones. Christmas is all about fun, and Design Master allows us to have fun with color. So we're going to paint these amazing pine cones, all different shades and colors, to go with Christmas. We don't have the traditional Christmas colors. Well, we've got red, but then we've added chartreuse green, and aqua blue, hot pink, orange, and even ice blue to make it updated and contemporary. So painting pine cones can be a little bit of a trick. I love to get the pine cones that already come on a wood pick because that gives me a handle so I can work with it and even punch them into styrofoam before I paint them. If you don't have pine cones that have a pick on them, you can use a covered wire and wrap it around the bottom. That works great too. So the first thing that we did was painted our pine cones using the primer. I love the primer because it helps us paint things more evenly and it allows us to use less paint because the colors don't bleed through to the color below. It's a dark pine cone. Trying to paint it orange or chartreuse would be difficult without the primer. I did two coats of the primer, and then I go in and add the color. With the red, we simply use short blasts, and the wood pick allows us to cover it completely. I love a piece of styrofoam too, because I can line up all the pine cones and do them at once in an assembly line. After we've finished, we simply cut off the wood pick. And then we have a pine cone that's ready to go into our display. Another way to enhance the pine cones is to add glitter. If we want to do that, we'll want to leave the wood pick on. Nothing says Christmas like glitter. And this is a really fun process. We've taken our glitter and poured it into a low dish. We're using Design Master's glue for glitter. We'll take that and spray it on our pine cone. I do a nice heavy coat over everything. And then we roll it in the glitter. So we're just catching the tips. We can also slide the glitter down to one corner so we can catch the bottom. I told you the wood pick was going to come in handy. And then we have glitter on the ends of the pine cone. I chose colors that were complementary to these. You could also do ones that contrast. So now we'll add our pine cones and some ornaments and decorative wire inside the apothecary. This is the great new hurricane base that's available from G3. It's 100% post-consumer recycled glass. And now they've created universal lids like this so you can convert the hurricane vase into an apothecary. We'll start by arranging our different objects inside there. You'll notice that I have some pine cones that still have a matte finish. I didn't glitter everything, so we get a nice serendipity nature that's gonna go on inside there and really make it look like a collection. We'll start with a piece of decorative wire. I'm just gonna take that out and swirl it through the vase. can add an ornament or two at the bottom, and some of our smaller pine cones.
our lid fits on top, and we can accent it with some ribbon. Because we've used the glitter and all of the fun festive colors, we could use something modern like this that would still have a very strong traditional Christmas feel. Or we could make it really contemporary using the pink and chartreuse green. I'm gonna use that one today. We'll cut it at a dovetail. We'll tie it around that great hand-blown apothecary top. Just do half of a shoelace bow. So creating it as a shoelace and then pulling the ribbon through rather than making one loop on the other side. So now we have the single loop. So it looks like half of a shoelace. The ribbon's wired, so we can shape it. It looks great. We could create different sizes of these or a pair of them to set on a mantle. It's a fun way for us to accessorize the holiday with color, thanks to Design Master Paint. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.